from the Oak Wall Studios in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hello, this is Jesse Oakley III, and welcome to the Oak Zone, where we provide positive words of wisdom for you, that's right, you, the happy people. Now, from Monday through Friday, I give you a plethora of positive information on my show called The Oak Zone with Jesse Oakley III. But today is Sunday morning, and it is time for the Sunday morning chat series. This is where I get a chance to interview positive people that are making a big difference in their community, whether they are speakers, writers, yoga instructors, animal rescue volunteers, Bitcoin experts, or anybody else that's making a positive difference in the community, you will hear from them first on the Oak Zone Sunday morning chat series. And today we got ourselves an amazing show. There are so many content out there that's making a positive difference in people in the community. And this one really stood out. This woman gives different types of information and different types of topics. And I could find no better time than to put hearts on this woman's contest, because I know that the advice she gives and the information she gives is pure gold. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome none other than Linda Ray with Two Minutes Tips to Thrive at Two. Hey, Linda, how's it going? It's going great, Jesse. It's wonderful to be here with you today. All right. And I found it cool when I mentioned animal rescue volunteers, your, your pet just jumped up right behind you. <laughs> Impeccable well, timing. I my dogs love when I get on Zoom because they know exactly where I'll be for a while. All right. And without any further delay, let's chat. All right. Now, they're the happy people out there. And could you explain to the happy people what your show, Two Minutes Tips to Thrive at Two, is all about? I'd love to. So when the shutdown started last year, my thought was, what do people want to hear about? Because now we're home doing different things. And the name of my business is Thrive Every Day. And I love watching people on YouTube and Facebook and all the different areas giving us tips, but I like them short. So I named it Two Minute Tips to Thrive at Two, which for me was a great play on words with the name of my business. And that was my idea, to give people ideas about how to get over the laws of staying home and how to stay happy and perky and just have hope that at some day we'd be able to see the end of this stay at home time. So that was the point. All right. And that's quite the fantastic point. Now the next question is how did you actually get this started? What was the inspiration? So like I said, the inspiration was to give people something to hang on. And I didn't realize how many people would listen to me every day, but you know, people think it's really hard. Jesse does listen to me every day, it's really true. And I wanted to do something that was simple and I knew Facebook Live was simple. You just pick up your phone and you turn it on and you start talking. And when you're finished, you save it. If you don't like it, you delete it. It's perfect. So it was simple to do. And I, I found that I became addicted. I became addicted to giving good news to people because like you, I think that the more we can do to help people stay happy, it just changes the way the world feels to all of us. Oh, you hit an excellent point right there. It's because the reason why we do things is to counter balance or make give more weight to the other side of the fence, which you have negativity in the news and the social media. And there are so many people that are just sick and tired of it. They're about to lose their hair and <laughs> realize that they want something positive for a change. And what better time and what better place to do this with your Thrive shows as well as the Oak Zone Sunday morning chat series. It makes a big difference for everybody that's looking for positivity. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, this is fantastic. Now, when it comes to this show, what were some of the challenges that you faced in getting all this together? Well, getting it together was not that hard because I do speak and I write a lot about what I think it takes to thrive. The hardest thing for me was to keep it within two minutes because I get so many ideas. And the other thing, when I got finished with all of the things I normally talk about, 
where do I go from there? Because yesterday was episode number 400. And I am repeating some things because people love them. And I do ask my listeners to tell me what they enjoy. They won't necessarily say it in the comments, but they'll send me a note on Facebook Messenger and let me know, oh, do more of that. I like that. And it's nice to know that you make a difference. It makes it worth getting up and doing this. All right. Now, what were some of the best moments you've experienced with this show? Well, I bet you get this. Somebody writes and says, I needed just that today. Or I look forward to seeing you every day because you make me smile. Yes, success. That's what we're here for. Um, that's what drew you and I to be friends is that we like happy people and we like to help people be happy people. And so making a difference. And there are people that listen every single day. When I wasn't there one day, I got an email from one of my friends that said, are you okay? You weren't on today. So that's, that's the best part, the people. Exactly. The people make the big difference. And as long as we're there to give some positivity to the happy people, then we know that we are doing something in this world. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, let's say that you have one of these faithful people, <clears throat> me. Let's say that you have one of these faithful people that watch your show and they want to do what you're doing. They aspire to have their own show of positivity. What advice would you give to these aspiring people? Well, I would say just do it. Um, you and I both know another person who lives in Las Vegas named Darren LaCroix, and he's always teaching people, just do it. Just pick up your phone and start recording and make a, pick a time limit. For instance, Darren has people doing it for 77 days right now. Why did he pick 77? Who knows? It's a good number. But they say to make a habit of something, it takes 21 or 63, depending who you listen to days to do it. But the other thing is some people might be timid right now. I can understand that. I, I never had trouble keeping my mouth shut. Uh, in fact, the biggest thing I need to do is learn how to mute more often. But just do it and do it every day. You don't have to do it for a long time. You don't have to be brilliant. Talk about what touches your heart. Try and keep it from being too controversial and warm people's day. What you'll find is you become a more confident communicator, which just helps you in life. Fantastic. Now, is there any way that people can actually check out your shows? Do you have any information regarding that? Well, I do. It's on Facebook Live every single day at two mountain time, which right now, of course, is mountain daylight time. And then it stays on my Facebook page. And from there, it goes to my YouTube page, which is Linda Ray, L-I-N-D-A-R-H-E-A. -E Another way to stay in touch with me is something that I am now my new project is my Facebook group, which is Thrive. You know, like we all want to thrive instead of just survive. So it's thrive every day, because I believe if we can have that as our motto, that every day I'm going to thrive and do something good for people, life is much better. So thrive every day is a, a group on Facebook. It's also a website, but it's not up right now. It will be back up in about a month. All right. And for those people that missed it, do not fret because the links will be right here in the description below. So if you have a chance to finish up this overall interview and want to see more information regarding Linda's Thrive, please go to the links right there, right down below. All right. Now we are almost at the end of this interview and time flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And oh when you're with happy people, it's even better. Exactly, exactly. Now this portion is the shout out portion of the meeting. And is there anyone that you would like to give a shout out to? Well, I would say that there's three people that have really helped me get comfortable and want to do this. And that's Darren LaCroix, who is a mm -hmm. world champion of public speaking. Rich Hopkins, who I think is one of the greatest speaking mentors I've ever known. And I'm lucky he's a friend. 
And the third one is none other than Happy People creator, Jesse Oakley, because watching oh. you do this inspired me. Wow. So those are my three main shout outs when it comes to having the nerve to start this on Facebook. Thank you very much. I feel quite honored. And definitely Rich Hopkins and Darren LaCroix, those are two high quality people and they are both amazing. Mm. All right. Now the next question I have for you is, this is the last question. Let's say that my crew called the happy people are looking at this video and they are amazed by the story that you bring on your Thrive show. If you could offer my crew, the happy people, any solid words of wisdom, what would it be? Well, easy to say, just do it. But what I'd really like to do is remember two people that have really touched my life. And that's, um, boy, I'm just Helen Keller. Mm -hmm. Not Helen, well, it's not Helen, and Frank, excuse me. Helen Keller has also touched. So maybe we'll just throw her in the mix. And Victor Frankel, all three of those people lived through a situation you know, Helen was blind, Anne and Victor were in the camps in the Holocaust. Mm -hmm. But all of them continued day in and day out to write positive words for us to read. And I remember especially Anne Frank when I was a young girl reading her story. She made me believe that no matter what happened to me, I too can be like Anne and be happy. And I look at life is that we have our past, which sometimes we like to worry about, and we have our future, which sometimes we like to worry about. But the most important thing we have is the present. It's wrapped as a gift. And if we can be happy, it just makes our life better. So live in the present, be happy. I tell you, that was fantastic words to end this wonderful interview. And on behalf of all the happy people that are watching all over the world, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to be a part of the Oak Zone Sunday morning chat series. Thank you so much for the invitation. It's been an honor to be with you this morning. All right. Now this concludes this episode of the Sunday morning chat series. But if you want more plethora of positivity, go to YouTube, type up my name, Jesse Oakley III, hit the subscribe button, like, and share these videos with other happy people that you know. And once you get to my YouTube channel, go to the links where it says Sunday morning chat series. There you'll see past interviews that I've done with amazing, inspiring people like my friend, Linda. This concludes this Sunday morning chat series for the Oak Zone. This is Jesse Oakley III speaking. And until next time, happy people, take care and have a great day. Bye. <laughs>